I now would like to invite、um, Ms. Nisha, Director of the Office and Representative to the Pacific States of UNESCO, for introductory remarks. Thank you, Aya. Honorable Minister Ogoro, esteemed Chairperson Kumbra, and members of the Pacific Heads of Education System, distinguished guests and colleagues. It is my great pleasure too to welcome you to the 24th consultation meeting. Of the Pacific Heads of Education System. Together with our co host, the Government of Papua New Guinea. Over the last two consultations of phase, I have seen transformative leaders in the Pacific. Each of the phase members. You are individuals whose passion for education quality and social equity is equally matched by your knowledge of learning. Your passion for development of your national education systems is exemplary, particularly given the challenges that each. Year brings with cyclones, floods, and now increasingly droughts and COVID 19. It is UNESCO's honor, too, to be part of the organizational management of the education systems across the Pacific that helps translate your visionary ideas into. Actions. As we have gathered for the 24th consultation of the Pacific Heads of Education Systems, we rely on your grasp of the role, of your context, and the collective understanding of labor market needs as these. Are instrumental in shaping leadership for education. We know that the ambitious goal of transforming education will not be accomplished by one individual alone or by one stage of education alone. We need the joint action. By the phase. And there is a need for diverse movements to support education at basic, secondary, tertiary, and higher levels. Alongside, we need lifelong learning for professionals to rel remain relevant and adult literacy and numeracy. For development focused societies and labor markets. Distinguished participants. One of the topics that is going to be debated most in this consultation, too, as has been the case in all previous consultations held this year. And that is ICT in education. I will not go into it. It is amply covered in the sessions that are coming up. But I would like to close by pointing out the urgent need to address the issue of equity, of digital divide, whether it is between the islands and atolls. Or it is among social classes and income levels. These needs of inclusion are collective needs 
and they are our collective and urgent responsibility. We are looking forward to enriching next few days, four days of the consultation. And we will remain at your service as you pursue implementation of actions that you would decide in this consultation. Thank you and hand you, I hand you back to Aya.